Welcome back to the range. It sees how I'm taking over this show like that. We're going to do our favorite segment that ever has been created. Shout outs and thumbs down. I guess I'm going to go ahead and start off. Shout out to Martin. Because because of you, I have funny entertainment to watch on DVD. Love you, bro. TV One and Nasty Neck. So thumbs down for no TV One Martin Marathons. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. If you just want a Martin Marathon, I got the DVDs. And we also, uh, we also and I have the DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody wants to do it, just come on over. We'll hook it all up. Watch it on the 50-inch screen TV. We'll watch Martin. Martin! We'll do it all right there. Uh, yeah, shout out to Fresh Prince. Oh, yes. Right. I, mean, I have that on DVD. We have that. I have that on DVD it's not too. Unusual. I need to invest in that. <laughs> Do it. I'm telling you. It's, All right. It's the show. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, uh, anyone? Yes. Feel the urge. Thumbs down to the boy at Tunnel of Oppression last semester that got scared and told me, "Can I hold you?" He wasn't scared. <laughs> <laughs> he may have been like the flashlight. He couldn't see. Oh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Shout out to the people who can fail the brown paper bag test, okay? I mean... Thumbs down to whoever came up with, with the brown paper bag test, okay? Forget you. That was stupid. What? Okay. That was That's gay. Jefferson. gay. That was gay. That was gay. That was gay. Okay. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> hey, hey. I like to give a, like to give a shout out to Thomas Jefferson because even he had a black mistress back in those mm -hmm. times. Oh, yeah. Thomas Jefferson, he loved him to sisters. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give a shout out to me just because. That was gay. <laughs> this nigga's gay. Thumbs down to the gay people. <laughs> <laughs> I like to give a, you know, a thumbs down, very big thumbs down to LT. Because you cried at the first part of your press conference, two minutes later you with the big ass smile on your face. <laughs> That's stupid. You was retarded. I hope somebody hurts you. I want to give a huge thumbs down to standardized tests. SFA today, I was sitting in class and they gave me a standardized test to take. I have been taking, I have taken reading or English for four years. Four years! Why should I take one now? Mm. Mm. Well, I'm going to say thumbs up to having a job during this recession. I'm getting a check on the 1st and the 15th. You know. For, you know for me. Mm. Where you working? Oh, I can't, that can't be disclosed here on the camera. Because if you were going to say that, that was, on camera. Well, thumbs so down to all the whack pickup oh, lines. Say, no, yes, to all the lines. What did you say? Baby dolls. What did you say? I said thumbs down to all the whack pickup lines from boys. Little boys. Are little boys who think they're men? Yes. I'd like to give a thumbs down to Brandon. Because Brandon didn't warn nobody that it was already filming, so a brother came in loud. So because of him, I probably ruined the first segment. And these ladies hate Brandon for show sure because because of that, I interrupted. We had to stop and restart, so I jumped in. Mm -hmm. So they probably pissed off at Brandon now. No, we're good. Oh, no. Shouts out to Brandon. Shouts out. Brandon can kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't they, think people heard that. They be ugly. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> brother behind the camera who just had to judge JB. <laughs> if you have to tell another dude that he's ugly, he should know that, that, that is, um, that's some fucked up shit right there. Don't hit on my that's shout out to Leah. She wants us to be here today. Leah can kick rocks. No. She's a good person on this little, we could have got you. She's she been, she been on the show. <laughs> Thumbs down to Leah because she has been on the, she's been on the show three times and still hasn't out argued me. She, because you're loud. I you mean, damn you know, right. Who can actually talk over your voice? You damn right. <laughs> damn right. You from the country? Yes, I am. What the country? I'm from the country. I'm from the country. I'm from the country. I'm from the country. I don't know, but he's loud and he's very hard to over talk. 
No, because why. if you ain't strong enough to voice your opinion and just do it like I do, then, you know, you just lose. God bless him with vocal cords. What can yes, you do? he did. And I would really pray for him whenever he loses his voice. <laughs> you? You, pray for me? you pray for me to lose my voice? I'll pray for you if you do lose your voice. If I do, I will be, that would be the day I cry. Really? You can't even speak like no, no, I mean, no, no. everybody be speaking over you. It's gonna be that would be a great day to have this episode. <laughs> we won't even have him say that. But see, I even think Should've you know, when my, if I had no voice, I would still be here trying to yell. <laughs> see, that's just who I am. So Never take a day off work. Does drinking make you louder? I don't really know. <laughs> because when you have a lot, you really can't comprehend. You really? Oh, let's see, that's one thing. No, no, oh. I like to give a shout out. To my uh, assistant, co my the assistant track coach, coach uh, Travis Alby, because he had the best explanation of why people get really loud when they drunk, or how people get really stupid when they drunk. He said, when people get drunk, the first thing to go is your hearing sense, which may be true. <laughs> he said, the second thing to go is all the smart shit that you already know. <laughs> but that's why you get dumbasses in the club and also in the bars that also be talking the stupid shit when they drunk. He goes, you know what? That is just stupid. But then I have realized, I'm not thinking about shout out to all the people who get smarter when they drink. Maybe your ass wouldn't be taking the SATs three, four times if you had a drink before. <laughs> wow. Well, before we end, we're going to give a shout out to Chris Gallen, who couldn't be here tonight. You know, he's you know getting ready for Saturday, going to San Antonio for his best ball club. So we'll give a shout out to you, Chris. Hope you do well. Can't wait to get you back. Hope we'll, be in, hope we'll be in tomorrow. We're going to have a good topic for discussion. So, for Cleveland, Is it been JB, you know. Wes. He trying to cheat us out of some minutes. Breezy. I'm going to go ahead and say this now. <laughs> Megan. Arvnell. This is your host, Brandon Brown. Here Shout on out to the Lumberjack for winning today. And Lady Jack. And the Lady Jack. So, I'd like to end this range. On some more Jerome lines. Ah! What? Jerome lines. Jerome. Jerome. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, dang, what does he say? That's go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll think it's on. Girl, you show this swollen right about your colon. <laughs> Girl, I'll come here. Drop that chicken dinner and get yourself a winner. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Do what? Do, do it, it walk. They call do it walk, walk. Yeah, come on. Yuck mouth. They call him yuck mouth. They call me yuck mouth. <laughs> it's a yuck mouth. Oh! <laughs> they took my gold, too. They took yeah. my gold, too. Yeah. I like to say, Joe Ron in the house. <laughs> I say, Joe Ron in the house. Watch your mouth. Without a doubt, Joe Ron in the house. <laughs> that. It's the range. Oh, you want some card moves too? You want some card moves? Come on, Carlton. Uh, uh, uh. It's not that easy. It's just a book. Do you know? Bye, everyone. That's been the range. We'll see you next time.